TVs are a part of our everyday lives. Furthermore, the use of smart TVs has gained a lot of popularity in recent years due to the greater availability of these devices. Smart TVs allow you to stream movies and your favorite shows. The newer versions have voice control and smart home integration to allow you to easily connect to other wireless devices. You may have wondered when buying or using your smart TV, do TVs emit EMF radiation? Today, there is a wide array of high-definition, HD, and other Ultra 4K HD TV sets on the market. Various types of TVs emit a range of levels of electromagnetic field, EMF, and radio frequency, RF, radiation. Regular LED, plasma and LCD TV sets rely on an HD TV antenna to receive signals and provide you with TV viewing options. On the other hand, a smart TV acts as a smart home device that allows an internet connection and supports a wide range of apps. A smart TV provides you with various options like playing games on Hulu, streaming movies from Netflix, watching content on YouTube, access to social media sites and being able to control other wireless devices around your home. When buying a TV, whether a smart TV or a regular TV set, the screen size is usually one of the biggest factors you have to consider. The screen size also determines how close you can sit to the TV. You should always sit at least at a distance of 3 times the height of the HD TV and around 1.5 times the height of a Ultra 4K HD TV. This minimizes your risk of exposure to electromagnetic field EMF, radiation from the TV. If you want to minimize the EMF radiation you are exposed to in your daily life, I highly recommend checking out the first link in the description below this video. Do TVs emit radiation? With many of us spending a substantial amount of time watching TV, there are concerns about EMF radiation from TVs. Therefore, do TVs emit radiation? The answer is yes, you are exposed to a small amount of radiation from your TV every day. The amount of radiation emitted depends on the type of TV, size of the screen, the brightness and screen resolution, and how much you use it. The older versions of TVs using cathode ray tube CRT, monitors emit slightly higher amounts of radiation compared to the latest flat screen TVs LED, that emit less radiation. The modern smart TVs with smart features do emit a lot of radiation because they have to connect to the internet using the Wi-Fi feature. Smart TVs constantly send signals to connect to the Wi-Fi router. As it continues to search for the available router, it emits radio frequency RF, signals. The TV will constantly transmit these signals since Wi-Fi is a built-in feature and you can't switch it off. The Wi-Fi network used to connect to the internet produces high levels of EMF radiation. Therefore, running your smart device and other wireless smart devices 24-7 will increase your exposure to EMF radiation. A smart TV will also emit Bluetooth radiation as it sends out signals to look for other wireless devices to connect to. The Bluetooth signals sent are weaker than those sent by Wi-Fi signals. There are also other near-field communication apps that run continuously on the TV, which increases the amount of radiation being emitted. Spending a lot of hours watching your favorite TV show exposes you to a lot of electromagnetic field radiation. The LCD, LED and plasma TVs do emit EMF radiation from all directions to a distance of up to 12 feet. The different types of TV models not only generate a wide range of both electric and magnetic field radiation at the front but in all directions. Therefore, sitting next to the TV will expose you to EMF radiation, just like sitting in front of it does. Sitting close to the TV exposes you to electromagnetic radiation and UV light radiation from both the electrical system in the TV and the screen. Ensure your children don't spend too much time watching the TV screen because they are even more susceptible to electromagnetic radiation. According to a study, their brain is not fully developed and so the impacts are greater. It is recommended that you keep distance between you and your smart TV because it emits radiation that is harmful to your health. Even when you keep distance, also ensure other devices connected to the TV are kept away from you. Otherwise, these wireless devices will expose you to both radio frequency radiation and Bluetooth radiation. Any wireless device connected to the TV creates a two-way communication channel with the TV and also with the router. For example, if you're using your cell phone as the remote controller for the TV, 
or when using Chromecast technology to connect to the TV or any other wireless device. How do these emit radiation? TVs have a lot of components that contribute to the amount of radiation emitted. There are also different types of radiation you're exposed to while watching your favorite TV show. TVs emit radiation in various ways that are described below. 1. Radiation from a smart TV Smart TVs, just like the name suggests, use smart features to connect various apps. They have a Wi-Fi enabled feature that allows the TV to connect to the wireless box and access apps like Netflix. Once connected, a large amount of data has to be transferred to and from devices, and this generates high amounts of radiation. Smart TVs emit higher amounts of radio frequency RF, radiation and Bluetooth radiation than other TVs. Some smart TVs come with an Ethernet port that allows you to connect to a cabled Ethernet internet. The port doesn't disable or turn off the Wi-Fi signals transmitted by the TV. Even when you connect to the Ethernet cable, the EMF radiation emitted by the smart TV will remain the same since the wireless signals are not switched off. 2. Motherboard slash circuitry board. Just like any other electronic device, a television will emit radiation through its motherboard. The amount and type of radiation emitted depends on how the components are built on the circuit board and the size of the board. 3. Dirty electricity from converters. TVs and other electronics like dimmer switches require converters. The converters and your home wiring emit dirty electricity which is another source of electromagnetic field radiation. The high frequency voltage used by the TVs and the other devices can create surges of electricity that is stuck in the wiring. The dirty electricity stuck in the wiring system emits EMF radiation. Plasma TVs require a lot of power to operate effectively. They also generate intermediate frequencies that contribute to increased levels of dirty electricity around your home. People who have electromagnetic hypersensitivity EHS, will be more affected by the dirty electricity emitted by TVs and other electronic devices around your home. How to detect with apps if your TV is emitting EMF radiation? You can download apps to detect whether your TV is emitting EMF radiation. One of the commonly used apps is ElectroSmart. Go to the Google Play Store and download the ElectroSmart app. Switch on your TV. Load the ElectroSmart app and wait for 30 seconds for it to completely load. Select the Details of Sources Exposing Me tab. Look to see if there are Bluetooth or Wi-Fi signals coming from the TV. How to disable Bluetooth and Wi-Fi modules Not all smart TVs allow you to turn off the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi modules. If you have EHS to EMF radiation you should check the manufacturer documentation to see if it is possible to disable them before buying the TV. You can also test the TV radiation using the Electro Smart app before buying the TV. Don't trust the retailer for information about EMF radiation. Check the manufacturer's information. TV sets do emit RF radiation from Bluetooth and Wi-Fi modules, and they also emit low frequencies of EMF radiation just like any other electronic device. Therefore, if you have a TV you don't use, always unplug it from the power socket. And by the way, I just want to quickly mention that if you're at all concerned about EMF radiation, you should take a second and check out the first link in the description. Summary TVs do emit small amounts of EMF radiation compared to other radiation sources around your home. If you're very concerned about the amount of radiation you're exposed to, you can buy or rent an EMF meter and measure the amount of radiation in your home, including from your TV. Keeping distance from the EMF source will reduce your risk of exposure. Keeping distance from your TV, whether a smart TV or an older style TV, will reduce exposure to radio frequency, Bluetooth radiation and other EMF radiation emitted by the TV. You can also put your TV inside a metal box case like a Faraday cage or use a fabric shielding material to block EMF radiation. Smart TV sets emit more radiation than other types of TVs. Therefore, before buying any TV, always consider the amount of radiation you may be exposed to. The size of the TV and brightness of the screen also contribute to the level of radiation emitted. Children are more vulnerable to the amount of radiation emitted since their brain is not fully developed. Therefore, ensure you limit the amount of hours they spend on the screen playing games or watching cartoons and other shows.
ensure they stay far away from the TV screen to reduce the risk of exposure to them. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more useful tips and tricks and visit infrartips.com. Thanks for watching.